Good morning, everybody. This is Tiffany with Raising House and Home, and this is a different video than I thought I was going to do for you this week. Um, I had a Shaw's video all planned out and did a pretty big shopping trip there for our weekly vegetables and things. And then we went to Walmart to get just a few things, you know, that we normally get there once a week. And it was pandemonium. <laughs> And we had no idea what was going on and I had my husband with me and he was like why can't we find a parking space why is there so many people here on a Friday like it's not even after work yet and so we went inside and it was crazy guys there was like hardly any carts available and people were just overflowing their carts and really like in a hurry to get in and out and they weren't really following any of the social distancing things they were just kind of crisscrossing in the aisles and we had no idea what's going on we're like is there a hurricane coming is there a storm what's what's the matter here and so we just kind of tried to go along our way and it took us a lot longer than it normally does just because there were so many people in the way and a lot of shelves were getting empty and people were just stocking up stocking up so then <laughs> I didn't even have my camera on me to do a video of everything that was going on because I didn't really plan on doing a Walmart video. And so I thought, well, I kind of wanted to stock up on more of these rice sides because we've been using them and we were kind of down. So that was in my plan anyway. Um, but then I thought, well, something's happening. So <laughs> maybe I should just get them now and then I can avoid coming here next week because this is crazy. And um, so anyway, I figured I would show you what we got and it really isn't cohesive. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I was very confused and like just kind of knocked off my, my normal routine of going through there. So I just felt like I was just grabbing something and trying to get the heck out of there. So I'm gonna show you what we got and then I'm gonna explain to you what happened and why everyone was doing that after I uh, show you our haul. So, I'm gonna start over here like I usually do. We got a package of our toilet paper and we've been going through quite a bit of this. You guys can see, uh, it's just a great value brand. We've been going through a lot of this because we have allergies and we've turned on the heat. So we have a lot of like dry stuffy noses and it's not Corona, <laughs> but um, we do have a lot more people using this for tissues. And so we're going through it a little bit quicker. We're going through about a roll a day. So that's just my normal, you know, every other week or so thing that I like to restock. And then we got these M&Ms, despite my enthusiasm, we have not um, made the M&M stretch from our Sam's Club haul. I don't know if you've seen that haul yet. I will put the link up here in the corner on your right. Um, and I bought four things of M&M's and I thought they'd last us to March and it is only November. So that wasn't really, <laughs> that was not good calculating on my part. Um, anyway, so then we got these little cheesy caramel corn and nacho cheddar spice thingies. We've never tried these before, but um, I thought it would be a fun little treat to have on hand. And we got some popping corn. I thought that would be kind of fun to do. And I might put some M&Ms in the popcorn. And then this. Now, I think if you guys have seen my other videos, I did get a few of the smaller cans of this. Um, but I didn't realize they came in the big cans and they had two left. So I grabbed one and it was about $15. Um, but I like it that it's in this can instead of the bag, like the non-fat milk is in there. And then I got two more of these shelf-stable um, parmalay milk. It's whole milk, so it tastes a lot better. And so this is uh, expires July 2021. So then we've got the paprika. I use this quite a bit and um, I keep running out. These were the last two on the shelf and I did buy them both um, because I use it for pretty much all of our recipes. I use it for 
like our sandwiches when I make um, egg salad sandwich I use it for our taco seasoning and all that so there's that and then we did get this one thing of spam I actually had two things of spam but my son ate one last night he really has started liking this which I don't know I know everybody's in my comments have said try it you'll like it but I guess I have just bad memories of as a child eating it <laughs> I didn't like it then so I haven't tried it as an adult but maybe I should I've heard that your taste buds change so maybe I'll give that a try and um, so this one's gonna go in our pantry for storage that he isn't gonna eat right now <laughs> here is our corned beef hash this is a reduced sodium this was the only can on the shelf my husband likes to have that in the fall with some eggs and then this is our great value steak sauce and we got some more ketchup and another thing of mayonnaise we're kind of starting to run low on that I'm just trying to restock things that we use so we we use one thing of ketchup well actually we probably use two a month um, but I just got one and then of course the mayo that big jar probably lasts us two months and then I got some tortillas and we do go through these a lot so this is about a week's worth maybe two weeks worth of tortillas for us and then we got some hamburger buns some bread I'm trying to go a little bit up so you guys can see it better and then I think I showed you that stuff okay and then we got three gallons of milk and we go through about a milk a gallon of milk a day um, lately we've been going through about half a gallon a day so I think that will probably go up this winter because we drink like hot cocoa and things so we got those milks and that I always crazy too uh, and then we've got these three salsas because we've gone through two so far since I've bought any and I like to have those on hand for recipes and for snacks and then over here you'll see that we have all kinds of these Noor si rice sides. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I had a huge haul of um, the instant potatoes, so I didn't need too many of those, but we have used a couple. So this middle aisle right here is just potatoes. It's just the ones that we have to replace. So those will go back in our storage. And then all of these, we got the chicken flavor, we got the teriyaki rice, and I got one package of mushroom flavor because um, one of my sons really likes mushroom, but not too many other people like it, so I figured one would be enough for him. And then we got the creamy chicken, rice and pasta blend, we got Mexican rice, and teriyaki noodle, and then butter and herb noodles, and the alfredo. I really like these for our storage um, in our prepper pantry because you know there's something quick and easy and it's almost like dry food or like the freezer dried um, canned of foods that you can buy that are really expensive but these are super cheap so I love to grab them when I can and <laughs> seeing what we saw today I'm glad that that was on my list and that we planned for that because they were going crazy <laughs> um, and then we've got these zipper bags we don't normally get the colored ones but um, that's all they had and that's all I've had for a couple weeks so this is our second bag and the kids actually like them so it's it's fun there's a hundred in there I think it was just a few cents more um, than the regular ones so that's kind of a fun treat to have and then of course we got our puffs plus lid lotion tissues because those sell out pretty fast and they were going fast um, I don't know if I told you that this right here this whole package of um, toilet paper the Walmart brand there's only two left and they had some Scott ones left but they were not the big package so those were quickly leaving the store so I'm glad that I got one and then I got some more of this buttermilk pancake mix uh, if you see my other videos you'll know that we bought this quite a bit we started buying it in March because of the flour shortage and we've already used up a bag so I just replaced that and then we got these cheese it grooves and I like to get the big family package of these they have like the big family box but 
they didn't have them. They haven't had them for a couple weeks. So I have to get, you know, more of the smaller boxes. And they very rarely have them in stock. I guess this is a real popular flavor. And we've also started using, um, I think it's called Zesty Ranch Grooves. And so we like it because it's made with rice flour. And so it's not a chip and it's not like corn products. Um, Cause I have a sensitivity to corn products. So it's nice to have those instead of chips and they taste just like Cool Ranch Doritos. So the kids have really been enjoying those. Um, and then I got this box of mashed potatoes, especially with the holidays coming up. I like to use them for leftovers. When I first make our turkey dinner, I always make potatoes, like regular real potatoes. Um, and then like the next day, if we don't have any mashed potatoes left over, I don't want to make a whole new set, you know, a whole new bunch uh, from our real potatoes. So I enjoy using these instant potatoes for our leftover turkey. And got some shaving cream. And then I got some more ibuprofen because we were going through that a little bit. And I wanted to grab some and I'm going to tell you, I wish I had my camera with me and my phone with me because that whole aisle was wiped out. I was lucky to find these. We were looking for regular Advil, but this was kind of on the corner end piece. I couldn't believe how wiped out they were. And same thing with this allergy relief um, Benadryl. It's like Walmart brand. This was the last box and you can see the box is open a little bit. Oh, I got some crumbs in there, sorry guys. <laughs> Um, you can see it's open a little bit and normally I wouldn't buy that. I would have bypassed it because I just don't like to have medicine that's been opened. But it is sealed um, inside and this was the only one so I really didn't have a choice in what I took. So we grabbed that and then I got this package of Clorox wipes. There's three of them in there. These last us a long time because we only use them for like wiping down the groceries if we need to, which I haven't done in a while. We've really decreased our usage of these wipes. Um, so those last us for a while, they're the big, bigger bottles of them. And then I got some more vinegar because we've gone through a whole bottle already. And we finally were able to found, find our um, plates that we use and these last us for over a month. And you know, I, I'm all for saving the environment, but sometimes you gotta save mama's sanity. <laughs> and with everybody home still, I need paper plates once in a while, so those are nice to have on hand, especially for lunches, like a quick sandwich. I don't want to keep washing plates for that. Um, and then we got some of these tarps, and these are hard to find uh, pretty much all year, but we use them a lot in the winter time for like our generator and, you know, just to kind of protect it. Um, and to you know protect our other stuff that we have outside and our chicken coop sometimes will spring a leak and so we've been known to throw this over the top until we can fix it um, so that they don't get wet and keep them healthy so i do have a few things in the freezer and the fridge that i got from walmart um, we got some lunch meat and we actually we got some bologna and i left it out all night so I threw it away so I'll probably have to go get some at some point um, but we don't buy that very often and I know the kids are really looking forward to it um, and we got I'm trying to think what else we got we got the honey glazed sliced turkey breast for sandwiches and I can't remember what else we got but most of our vegetables and, and meats we bought at our local grocery store um, so if you don't see anything that looks too healthy here, it's because we buy different things at each store. So our produce and meat is usually better at our local Shaw's than at Walmart. Um, I have been known to buy their chicken at Walmart, um, but usually I just kind of get it at my grocery store. And it's oftentimes cheaper at my grocery store because I'll only buy the fruits and, and um, vegetables and the meat that's on sale. And it's, so it's usually cheaper than Walmart to do it that way. Now, the reason why everyone was going crazy is during the time that we were out, our state, which is Maine, the CD, Maine CDC uh, had put out a warning that we had a lot of cases and that we were in the middle of a surge and putting out a warning that we need to take things seriously and we need to, you know, 
kind of stay home, but they weren't saying they were making us stay home. Um, not yet anyway. I'm just waiting to see if that happens um, this weekend or Monday. Um, but so that's what was happening. Everybody was like going out and trying to, I think they remembered what happened before, everything going off the shelves. So they were kind of freaking out because they haven't prepared. Well, we weren't freaking out because we, as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, we've been preparing for a while. Uh, the only thing that I was hoping for to get was these um, rice sides, but we have so much rice that if I couldn't get that, it wasn't going to be a big deal. I'm just kind of glad we were in the we got uh, in the store at the beginning of the rush because shelves are still getting cleared out all weekend, and so we've been staying away. <laughs> um, but anyway, so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please click subscribe below and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I put up um, new videos. I do weekly grocery hauls. I upload them every Sunday. I try to do them in the morning, but sometimes, you know, our mama schedules get off a little bit and it might be a little bit later in the day, but I try to always do it on Sunday. And then throughout the week, I put up videos for other things that we do in the family and, um, you know, just being a mom and raising your house and home. Uh, so please click subscribe if you haven't and if you have thank you guys so much for all your support and your emails I really appreciate it. I'm so shocked at how much my channel has grown and it's all because of you guys and I'm glad you're enjoying my content. So Thanks again guys. I hope you're happy safe and healthy and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye